I am in Frankfurt right here in my Boeing 737-800 Zeebo. And today I will be flying to Toulouse, which is a city in France. LFBO is the code. Lima Foxtrot, Bravo, Oscar. So we are cold and dark. And I have actually been on this flight in real life, so it's pretty nice. I'm gonna, it's gonna be cool. So, first thing is battery, then standby power, DC voltimeter, ground power, and now our AC voltimeter can go to ground power. Switch these off. Now let's go up here, change, let's, oh, let's start aligning the irises, and do the tests, okay, now we can go down here, and set our reference airport. Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. And we can get our GPS position. Now the RRSs can start aligning. And we are going to Lima Foxtrot Bravo Oscar. And this is Lufthansa Flight. Let me check. Lufthansa Flight 1098. 1098. And the runway we will be departing off is 07 Center, I believe. <coughs> there. Okay. So we are done with that for now. Well, you can go up here. Yaw damper. Utils. IFE pass. No smoking on. Fasten seatbelts auto. Let's turn on the window heat and probes. Trim air can go on. Let's do bleeds and our flight altitude today. I would say maybe 30,000 feet is good. And our landing altitude is 500 feet. Okay, exactly 500 feet. That's funny. All right, that's good. And we can put our logo and strobes. Let's do this test. That looks all good. And the dim, that's good. Fuel flow reset and auto brakes to Arto. Now we can do the testing the GPWS that looks good we can do these tests good good now the ATIS is 2992 which it is good so we don't really need to do anything down here now let's go here on flight directors and set all our altitude. Okay. And it's gonna be about 140. We can adjust this later. Our V2 speed. So now let's go into the FMC and finish this. Okay. So, our route for today is Yankee 163 to Irby. So, Yankee. Okay, it's not accepting it. Why 163? I guess it has to be direct first. Okay. So let's just put Herbie. Okay. 
and then y164 to open uniform november 869er to nemos Nemos and direct to Nintu and Uniform November eight six nine to Narak. Good, now we can activate this and do our departures. Our departure is anic for e Okay, and our arrival, or our approach, will be Nara 6 Lima. There, and it will be on Runway three two left, I believe so. So let's put the ILS for that, and don't have anything from here. So just execute that. Now let's check if we have any discontinuities or vectors. Okay, everything looks good okay now we can go to index oh whoops what's happening let's go to index and go to preferences our reserves is two thousand pounds of fuel and our cost index for today is 50 and our flight altitude is th um, 30,000 feet. Our top of climb wind for today is 097 at 030, so it's not too bad. And the temperature is negative 53, so we'll probably need to put anti ice up there. Anyway. Flaps can go to five. Let's get our trim. Five point ten. Looks good. And our V two is one fifty one. So it's probably because we have lots of fuel today. Okay. This looks good. Perfect. Okay, lots of waypoints today. So, with that said and done, we can now turn on the APU. So to do that, just flip it on until the low, low oil pressure light turns on right here. And it's gonna turn on, so yeah.
Okay, last notch of flaps. There's not really a crosswind, which is great. Continue. Okay, well. Wasn't that good of a landing, really? Actually, that landing kind of sucked. I think I was a bit too slow, but it was good. Okay, so let's put the speed brakes up. All right, <laughs> that's funny. Taxi lines aren't even drawn out. Okay, flaps are up and speed brake is up. Alright, so I'm going to start the APU. Now we wait for the generators to get on. APU is on.
All right, parking brake. Now let's shut these engines down. All right, engines are going down. We are all cold and dark now. Well, that was a really good flight, I think. So, I mean, the landing was hard, but I thought it was pretty good. So, I guess this concludes the video. Make sure to subscribe if this is your first time coming to this channel. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it truly, then I guess dislike it. But, that is the end. So, stay tuned for more. VR is coming up next. See you next time. Goodbye.